welcome to machine learning tutorial in this video i will discuss how to use bayesian belief networks with a numerical example this is example number two in this problem definition we have five events burglary earthquake alarm john calls and mary calls the event alarm depends on burglary and earthquake if there is a burglar in home or there is a minor earthquake the alarm starts ringing similarly the event john calls depends on alarm if there is a alarm john calls similarly the mary depends on alarm if there is a alarm mary calls the complete problem description is given in example number 1 and i have solved two questions over there the first question deals with how to calculate the joint probability distribution of this network given all the events the second one is uh, how can we calculate the probability distribution given subset of events for example if only one or subset of events were given how to calculate the probability values in this video i am going to discuss uh, how can we calculate the probability of happening of an event given uh, some evidence that is what is the probability that there is a burglary given that john and mary calls so here we want to find out what is the probability of burglar in the home given that john and mary has called so we know that john and mary has called we want to know what is whether there is a burglar in the home or no we don't know anything about alarm we don't know anything about earthquake but we know that john has called mary has called and we want to find whether there is a burglar in the home or not so if you want to do this particular thing we want to solve uh, we, we we need to consider something like this there were some evidences are given to us and uh, we want to find what will be the value of the variable x whether it is x or not x so if you want to do that particular thing we need to use these equations that is probability of happening of x given these evidences that is e1 to em is always equivalent to probability of all the events including uh, uh, evidences and the event divided by probability of events that's it which is equivalent to alpha multiplied by the numerator part this one and probability of not happening of that x given evidence is always equivalent to probability of all events divided by probability of evidences which is equivalent to alpha multiplied by probability of uh, that's a numerator you can say now what is this alpha alpha is always equivalent to 1 divided by uh, this numerator part whatever we have here Uh, for uh, probability of happening of x and uh, numerator part for probability of happening of uh, uh, not happening of that x so if you do this part i think you will get the value of alpha so this alpha value we need to put here so that we will get the final probability that x has happened given these evidences probability that x has not happened given these evidences now in our question we want to find probability that there is a burglar given john and mary calls so you can say that there are two evidences are given to us john and mary and we want to find whether there is a burglar or not so whether there is a burglar or no burglar so we will try to find it so first what we need to do is uh, probability that there is a burglar given john and mary has called we need to find out and second time we need to find out probability that there is no burglar given john and mary we need to find out which is always equivalent to alpha we need to calculate it later multiplied by we need to find out this equation this one or can say that a numerator part that is the probability of all the events probability of all the events is nothing but what this is joint probability distribution so we will write that particular joint probability distribution here we start writing the joint probability distributions from uh, bottom actually that is uh, probability that uh, uh, john calls is always depends on uh, alarm so i'll write it here i will tell you why i have written this uh, probability of uh, b here later probability that john calls given alarm probability of um, uh, mary calling depends on alarm hence i have written probability that mary calls given alarm i have written here and then the probability of alarm depends on it depends on burglary as well as earthquake that's the reason probability of alarm given be and probability of burglary and probability of earthquake those are the two things we will get but i have written probability of burglary here the reason is i want to find whether there is a burglar or not we know the uh, uh, the thing here that is in in this case there is a burglar that is what i want to find so that's the reason i have taken it outside 
and we don't know anything about this alarm and earthquake so that is the reason we know that in this equation burglar has uh, burglar is present in the home john has called mary has called we know these things but what about a and e we don't know anything about a and e so that is the reason what we do is we will put summation here that is uh, summation over a means there may be an alarm there may not be an alarm there are two possible cases so it is applicable to these all these things so that, that's the reason i have written a here now there is one more thing that is earthquake whether there is a earthquake or no we don't know so that is the reason i will write summation of e here now the question is why i have written summation e here the reason is it is applicable only to these things because e is present here and e is present here so that is the reason i have written e here so one thing you can remember whenever you want to write uh, the joint probability distribution start from bottom to top that is the one thing and whatever is known to you keep it on the left hand side that is the uh, 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 thing you can remember while solving this particular thing now in the next case what we need to do is uh, we will try to solve this particular part where we will try to put e once and negation of e once so that is what i have done here the same thing i have copied here this particular part i have copied and this particular part i have changed it something like this within curly braces probability of a given b e probability of e plus probability of a given negation of e probability of negation of e that is what i said we need to consider there is a happening of earthquake there is no earthquake similarly we need to consider both there is an alarm there is no alarm because it is not given to us so hence what i do is wherever there is a here i will consider a in the first case and second case i will consider negation of a so first i have consider a here uh, that's this this particular summation starts here and whatever wherever there is a a i have considered a as it is now i have to replace a by negation of a that is plus wherever there is a you can see here a is replaced with negation of a a is replaced with negation of a this a is replaced with negation of a and so on and this particular summation ends here now once you get this particular thing only thing what we need to do is uh, we need to go back to this particular uh, uh, the problem definition and put all the values you will get probability of b given jm that is probability of burglary given john has called and mary has called so i will put all this particular values and i am getting the answer as alpha into 0.00059 here similarly what i need to do is i need to calculate the there is no burglary given jm so once you find out this particular part the remaining part is very simple because uh, i want to find out there is no burglary given jm so wherever there is b we need to put it negation of b that's it so if you do that particular thing you will be able to get the final answer so again uh, if you want i will tell you the entire process we need to write uh, uh, the uh, joint probability distribution here because uh, the, the a we don't know the value of a we need to put the summation here a has happened a has not happened similarly we don't know anything about e so we will write summation of e we know uh, what what is the status of b there is no burglar that is for sure we know that john has called mary has called so we know we don't need to put any uh, summation terms here now we need to expand it first i will replace uh, e by one time uh, just e and the second time negation of e and wherever there is a i will put uh, a and in the second case i will put negation of a here and finally we need to put all the values here and then once you solve it you will get the answer as alpha into 0.0015 now uh, we we got the two probabilities that is probability that uh, there is a burglar given jm probability that there is no burglar given jm in terms of alpha here so we need to calculate the alpha value so that we will do it later but before that i just want to tell you one thing that is uh, if you want to calculate this one we can see here uh, i i want to calculate probability of a given negation of be we know that probability of earth, uh, alarm given negation of be negation of b is over here e is over here b has not happened e has happened which is equal to 0.29 so that i have written here that is the one thing i just wanted to tell you but what actually happens here is uh, one more thing is this particular thing you can see probability that there is no alarm given no burglary but earthquake that is there is no burglar no uh, no alarm no alarm is that is not given the table you need to find it out that is probability of alarm given be is given to us probability of no alarm given b is 1 minus this particular value so what is required for us here 
probability that there is no alarm given no burglar but earthquake that is equivalent to 1 minus 1 minus no burglar earthquake that is 1 minus 0.29 1 minus 0.29 is equal to how much 0.71 so that is the value i have written here so similarly we need to write all the values you will get this answer so once you get this particular answer uh, you need to find out the value of alpha the alpha is always equal to 1 divided by the numerator term that is probability that there is a burglar john has called and mary has called plus probability that there is no burglar john has called mary has called we know these particular values we have already calculated it the first value is 0 0.00059, second one is 0 0.0015. So, the value of alpha is 478.5 in this case. Once you calculate the value of alpha, we will put this alpha in the previous equation so that we will get the final probabilities. That is, probability that burglary is present in the home given John and Mary has called is always equal to alpha multiplied by probability of burglar John has called and Mary has called. Alpha is equal to 478.5. We have calculated this value in the previous equation. So, we will put it here. We will get the probability that burglar given John and Mary has called is 0.28. Similarly, probability that there is no burglar given John and Mary is equal to alpha multiplied by probability that uh, there is no burglar John and Mary has called. We will put the values here. We will get the answer as 0.72. You can cross check your answer if you are getting the addition of these two things should be equal to 1. If you get that value, the meaning is your answer is correct in this case. If you compare these two probabilities, that is probability that there is a burglar given John and Mary and probability that there is no burglar given John and Mary, the second one is more here. That is probability that there is no burglar given John and Mary. Hence, you can say that uh, in, in, in home, there is no burglar. In this video, uh, I have explained how can we calculate the probability of an event given some evidences. In this case, the event is uh, whether there is a burglar in the home or not. The evidences are John has called as well as Mary has called. I hope this uh, concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.